The background. Oh, background. I have a background. Kamu apa cara pencet itu? This is the question. I love. Okay, okay, okay. Kan, kan kamu tahu kan yang itu yang stop video itu kan? Mana stop video? Mana? Di bawah, di bawah, di bawah. Ya. Ah, itu di sebelahnya pencet itu yang atas itu. Edo itu. Mana? Atas mana ini? Ya. Sebelah itu sebelah stop video itu. Oh sebelah sini. Iya. Terus, ah terus pencet yang lebih bawah. Terus yang mana kamu itu pilih? Terus kamu pilih kamu main mana itu? Alhamdulillah The story titled Night of the Moon by Hannah Khan. It was bedtime and Yasmin waited for her mom to read her story as she did every night. But this night was different. Mom came into her room and pulled back the curtains that hung over the window. Come and take a look at the moon, she said. What's so special about the moon? Yasmin wondered. See for yourselves, mom said. That tiny little line? Yasmin asked as she squinted into the darkness. I can hardly see it. So it's very small moon. It's a new month in the Islamic calendar, which is based on the moon, mom explained. 
Long ago, people used the shape of the moon to keep track of days. They'd watch the moon grow bigger till it was full, then smaller till it disappeared. When the moon reappeared, a new month would begin. Like tonight, Jasmine said. Exactly. And do you know what the month is starting tonight? Mom asked. So do you know what the month is starting tonight? Mom asked. The month of Ramadan, Yasmin answered. Yasmin had been looking forward to Ramadan. It was a time filled with the delicious food, new clothes, lots of parties, and her favorite things ever, presents. But maybe this Ramadan will be different. But still, Ramadan always special. At school the next day, Yasmin was proud when her class had a discussion about Ramadan. Her teacher, Mr. Sanchez, told the class, During the month of Ramadan, many Muslim people fast each day. Does anyone know what that means? Yasmin did. It means you don't eat or drink anything all day long, she shared. You wake up before sunrise to eat, and then you don't have anything else until the sun goes down. Everyone had lots of questions about fasting. They especially wanted to know if kids has to do it. Little kids don't fast, Yasmin said, but maybe I'll try it for a day next year. So it's okay for the little kids, like uh, below, under seven years old, not fasting. But if they're fast, they will get more reward. And also their parents get the reward because you fast. Little kids don't fast, Yasmin said, but maybe I'll try it for a day next year. Yasmin, imagine a day without lunch or snack or even a drink of water. But it's okay. You can survive, you can be alive. I can still eat now. And now yeah. I'm still eating. That afternoon, while and Yasmin... And that afternoon, while Yasmin and her little brother Bilal had snack at home, Yasmin asked her mom if fasting was hard. It can be hard sometimes, but I don't mind, mom answers. Fasting helps me remember to be grateful for the food I have and to be more patient. So even though fasting is, it can be hard sometimes, but fasting is a good time for you to be grateful for the food that you have. And you also can be more patient because you need to be wait until you can eat. As the sun slowly started to go down in the sky, Yasmin helped mom pile a plate high with fresh dates and prepare a pitcher of milk. These were the traditional food to eat after the fast. Dates and milk is good for you because you need to get an energy straight away, right? Finally, sunset came and dad faced around the dates and said a little prayer. Everyone, let me admit someone, Everyone bit into the sweet, chewy fruits together, and the first pass of Ramadan was over. Then it was time for a special dinner with everyone's favorite foods. After this, you can tell me what is your favorite food, okay, kids, guys? So, see, this is a dinner time. That weekend, Yasmin family went to her cousin Hamza house for the first of many Ramadan parties. So even though since Corona, we cannot have a parties with our friends, but we can make our own parties in our home, right? Her own and uncle served a big dinner of beef kebabs, grilled vegetables, and fresh bread. Then there were tons of dessert, everything from chocolate fudge cake to rice pudding. Ooh. It can be very nice, right? After you're hungry, and you can have a dessert after that. After, after dinner, Yasmin... I'm going to look for food now. Mm -hmm. After dinner, Yasmin peeked out the window at the moon 
It looked like it was stuffed with the good food. Oh, the moon also can be fat after a while. Since it was now a thick crescent. See, the moon now getting fat and fat after eating a lot of season. The next week, mom and dad spend hours in the kitchen cooking up a huge pot of food to bring to the masjid. Yasmin and Bilal made the cupcakes too. Ramadan is a time for sharing. So if you cannot uh, bring food to the masjid, maybe you can share to your neighbors, like your upstairs neighbors, your next neighbors. Like uh, Alia, Alia in Aruba, they can go to Mikal house, something like that. That explained. Not everyone has as much to eat as we do. The mass was filled with people that weekend, and soon all of the cupcakes were gone. As Yasmin walked outside after evening prayer, she felt good about helping others. She looked up at the moon, which was half full now, like a half-eaten cupcake. See, you see, can you spot on the moon? It's half now. The days of Ramadan quickly flew by. Every night, Yasmin looked for the moon. One night, when Grandma was visiting, she and Yasmin went for a walk after dinner. Together, they saw that the moon was a brilliant circle. It's so pretty, said Yasmin, wishing she could see it closer. Subhanallah, said Grandma. Or you also can say, Masya Allah. That was grandma said whenever she says something wonderful. The full moon meant the full moon meant that Ramadan was already half over. Yasmin couldn't believe it. The next weekend it was time for Yasmin's family to have a Ramadan party. Lots of friends and family <laughs> came over in the evening for a big backyard barbecue. Dad set up a trampoline in the yard, and Yasmin, Bilal, and Hamza took turns sleeping towards the stars, pretending they were on the moon. Meanwhile, a real half moon shone in the sky. Over the next week, Yasmin watched as the moon slowly changed. Pak Jara, yeah. Uh, si Raya, ki, uh, siapa anaknya Sari mau ikut belum di ad admit sama hostnya? Sama Mbak Dara belum diboleh join masuk kayaknya. Oh sebentar ya, dicek dulu. Raya, siapa namanya? Um, nggak tahu ini Raya sama oh, Kira. Iya, iya. Tuh Raya. Who's will let you in? Ya. Oh, udah ya? Udah di, udah di let ya, tapi masih joining aja tulisannya. Oke. Okay. Ya udah. Oke, okay, lanjut ya. Over the next week, Yasmin watched as the moon slowly changed to a crescent and then to a thin line. The month of Ramadan was coming to an end. Finally, one night the sky was moonless. As hard as she looked into the blackness outside her window, Yasmin couldn't find the moon at all. There's no more moon, Yasmin announced to her family. Yasmin couldn't wait for tomorrow, when the moon's first crescent would appear for a very special night, the night of the moon. The night of the moon meant that Ramadan was over, and the following day would be the holiday of Eid. When the sun set the next evening, Yasmin family went to the community center for a night of the moon celebration, decorated with light and shiny balloons. The place looked magical. There were lots of stalls where people sold clothes, jewelry, toys, snacks, and gifts. From different countries, Yasmin brought some green metal bangles from India that tingled on her wrist. Bilal got a red hat with a big tassel that came from Turkey. And mom picked out new clothes for the family to wear on it, including a pretty green dress for Yasmin. 
Oh, I think Yasmin put a hand Later that night, Yasmin had her hands painted with henna paste in a beautiful pattern with moons and stars. The past left a dark orange dye on her palms that would last for about a week. Where are the stars? Cut away. Yasmin was excited to show her friend at school. When the family got home that night, Yasmin called. Hmm. I think I I wrong the I I click wrong button. Hmm? Ah. What just happened? I We're just huh? button. Later that night, Yasmin had her hands painted with henna paste in a beautiful pattern. You already read that. Moons and stars. The paste left a dark orange dye on her palms that would last for about a week. And it then it stopped moving everywhere. Yasmin was excited to show her friends at school. You already read that. When the family got home that night, Yasmin caught a glimpse of the moon's first crescent. So thin, it was like a fan. Oh, I think we already read this, yeah? Yeah. We already read it. Okay, the next morning, Yasmin woke up to the sound of the lion shouting, Eid Mubarak! This was the traditional greeting of Eid. A very happy day for Muslim all over the world. After a big breakfast together, Yasmin and her family dressed up in their new clothes and went to the mosque for Eid prayers. Everyone gathered on the lawn to wish each other a happy holiday and exchange the three hugs of Eid. Then Yasmin family visited friends and relatives for the rest of the day. Everywhere they went. Yasmin and Bilal received little gift of money called Eid. You, you receive the money also, right? Easily when you go to Indonesia. For Yasmin, though, the best part of the holiday, better than Hina, the new dress, and all the Eid money she collected, was the surprise she got at the bedtime. Mom and Dad called her into the family room and handed her a big box wrapped in a shiny silver paper. It's an Eid present, Yasmin, mom said, smiling, to help you watch for Ramadan to come again next year. Yasmin tore the paper off the box. It was a huge telescope. She stayed up late with that, putting it together and setting up in her bedroom. Then she took a look at the sky from the window, and this is what she saw. Can you guess? What the moon. Hmm? Subhanallah, Yasmin whispered as she looked at the wonderful moon. Yeah, correct, it's a moon. She couldn't wait for Ramadan next year. The end.